The Ford Ranger is back. After the American mid-size truck segment fell apart in the early 2010s, the U.S. has had to make do without its little Ford pickup, the beloved Ranger. But that will end soon because yesterday, just before the reveal at the Detroit Auto Show, the Blue Oval brand showed the first official images of the 2019 Ranger. <laughs> When the Ranger died in the U.S., a new generation of the truck called the T6 Ranger was born elsewhere, serving the mid-sized truck needs of overseas markets like Asia and Europe. We've had to wait a while, but now, seven years later, America is finally going to get a taste of that T6 goodness. That's because this new truck is based on that global T6 platform. It's still got a leaf-sprung solid rear axle, still a double wishbone independent front suspension, but Ford has made quite a number of tweaks. The frame is all new, uh, there's a new rear axle, there's been some changes made to the front suspension, especially the tuning. Um, Body-wise, the, the bed, the box is all new. Um, the hood is new. The fenders are new. Um, but if you look at it from sort of a, a distance, it does look quite a bit similar to the T6 found in Australia and Europe. America's new Ranger even looks a lot like the Global T6 model on the inside. But the powertrain is new for the Ranger nameplate using a version of the Ford Mustangs and Ford Explorers 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four. Made it to Ford's 10-speed automatic, which we've seen in other models like the Mustang and F-150. Ford hasn't released power or torque numbers yet, but the 2018 Explorer makes 280 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque, and the new Mustang makes 310 ponies and 350 pound-feet. So expect figures somewhere close to those ranges. The Ranger will come in three trim levels, XL, XLT, and Lariat, and it will offer two appearance packages and an FX4 off-road package. FX4 will come with off-road goodness like a terrain management system with four-wheel drive modes for different driving surfaces, an all-new trail control system, which is basically like an off-road cruise control, and an electronically locking rear differential, plus skid plates, upgraded tires, and off-road shocks. The 2019 Ford Ranger doesn't go on sale for a while, expected to hit showrooms early next year. But when it does go on sale, you can expect quite a bit of excitement from fans of the old Ranger. For Jalopnik, I'm David Tracy from the Detroit Auto Show.